Hey YouTube, so this is what my boot animation looked like after installing a uh, new Cyanogen mod ICS firmware uh, build date uh, 24th of June. Um, and as you can see, it doesn't fit on the screen. So I took the boot animation, put it on an SD card, and then put the SD card in the PC. And as you can see, I unpacked it, and the little text file is what we need to change. Uh, here you can see the resolution and 552. That's what my resolution on my ProTab 2XXL is. So save it rename the old boot animation to something else and then repack the files using WinRAR uh, choose zip format that's important and even more important maybe is store the compression method needs to be store so there is no compression whatsoever then rename it back to boot animation put it on an sd put the sd in the tablet and copy it back it's even a bit smaller sorry about this quality it's done with my psp let me see psp 300 camera and it's kind of crappy i tried to use solo commander and it won't let me delete anything off the system partition so we use root explorer for that uh, on the top you can't read it but it has a nice uh, read write uh, button to mount the partition first to the SD card and copy then I'm going to the folder system and then media mount the partition to be able to read and write um, this warning is saying uh, the boot animation already exists so I uh, I just overwrote it after that reboot and the boot animation is okay of course it's a little bit squashed so the uh, the Android looks a bit fatter rebooting now And there we have it. It fits. Nice Android. Cyanogen 9 Android. This is uh, 404 ICS firmware. And now the Cyanogen text fits in the screen. That's it. Thanks for watching.